All right, today I plan on doing an oil change. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is show you the different parts that I'm using. Um, I'm using the uh, Wix oil filter and a Doran drain plug. And these are the part numbers that I got from Rock Auto, so you can see those. And I also have here the Filter number from the uh, official EPC, Mercedes-Benz uh, catalog information. And you can see item 20 is the oil filter element. And that's it right there. In just one minute, I'm going to uh, call up the uh, drain plug and uh, the uh, gasket. Right, I also wanted to show you the oil that I'm going to be using, and that's 0W40. Uh, for European cars, and you can see on the back that it's approved uh, 229.3, 229.5, so both of those are that. So we should be good to go. And then here's the uh, information for the drain plug and uh, sealing ring items 20 and 30 in case you want to use the uh, stock Mercedes parts. All right, in a second, we're gonna start the uh, oil change. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, take off the engine cover. Now it just basically pops off, so you just need to pull it off. And there's two different locations where it pops on. It's on these, I guess you might call studs, and they pop into these uh, pockets. Let's set that aside. We we'll wanna take off the uh, oil cap. Uh, pull the dipstick out a little bit just to let air come in and then we're going to start um, to loosen up the oil cap. Now I have here a, I don't have the, the right metric size, but I have a 1 in 1 16th uh, socket. This should work fine. Uh, I tested it. it uh, it's a very good fit. Normally I wouldn't do this, but there's not much torque on that, so it, uh, there's not gonna be an issue of stripping. So let's just loosen that up a little bit. Yeah, it's not very much torque. Probably a little bit longer extension would be better, but that's what I have. There we go. Okay, now it's coming loose. All right. Let's get that loose. It's now a finger. So we'll just let that sit there. And then we'll move on to the next step. Before I loosen the oil filter cap, I'm gonna show you the location. Basically it's right down there. And uh, pretty simple to get at, pretty easy. Just need to have the right socket. All right, the next step is to uh, raise the vehicle. You know, if you don't have a, uh, a lift, you obviously can use uh, a jack and jack stands, but I'm going to use my lift as long as I have one. And uh, you may want to warm up the car first just to get um, the oil temperature nice and warm, and it also kind of circulates things so it, uh, it will, uh, so you don't have any gunk at the bottom of the uh, oil pan um, settling. So it's, it's kind of mixing it up and then it'll drain into the oil pan. All right, I'm not gonna make you listen to the uh, uh, lift going up, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, you always wanna practice uh, safety when uh, lifting a vehicle. You can see I've got some chalks there to uh, stop the vehicle if somehow it did roll. Uh, obviously, I got it in park, so I've got a couple of methods to keep it from rolling. Um, also, with the, uh, the lift, it's got a like two or three different uh, systems to uh, backup systems just in case it uh, one of them fails there's always a backup system I recommend the same thing with jacking up a vehicle that you have use at least jack stance and the jack to uh, 
um, as a backup just in case uh, something fails. So let's get started now. Um, basically what you want to do is remove this cover that's uh, covering the uh, drain plug. There you can see the drain plug. And uh, it's three nuts and bolts, or, or nuts, I mean, I mean bolts, that need to be removed. So we'll just do that quickly uh, and loosen them up and then we'll be right back. So I got the last one out and you can see that there's a, it slides under the uh, little lip here. So you want to pull that out and release the, uh, the cover. And also a quick note, those were eight millimeter bolts that I just took out. Um, and uh, just for your information as what size to use. All right, the next step is we're gonna be re um, removing the drain plug and letting the uh, oil come out of the vehicle. Okay, let's start removing the drain plug. Um, drain plug is 13 millimeters. So let's get a, a wrench on there. And uh, get it loosened up and let the oil out. Okay, let's continue with the uh, oil draining. Now I have a glove on. I would also recommend if your oil, mine has cooled off a little bit, so it's probably not gonna be hot, but be careful, it could be really hot. And you can also see the, uh, I believe it's a copper gasket that uh, we need to put a new one of those on. So let's just loosen it up. And, and my recommendation is push it in while you're loosening until you hear it until you fee hear and feel it a click so that it's you know that it's all the way uh, unthreaded. So I'm gonna keep going until I feel that. And then I would suddenly, you can probably see it dripping a little bit. And just let it slowly start coming out. So you don't want it to start splashing over everywhere. And there it goes. Yep. So just be careful, have stuff underneath. So uh, here's the uh, drain plug with the uh, gasket. And I'm just gonna let it drain. I would let it drain as much as possible. So like half hour to an hour would probably be good. All right, we're ready to put the uh, drain plug back in. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you're, I've got uh, the two gaskets back to back. Um, the one I got from rockauto.com is a little bit thicker, but it's got the same inner diameter, which is important, and the same outer diameter. So let's go ahead and put the new one on. And uh, you just want to put it in, definitely want to put it in by hand. You do not want to uh, install it first with a, a wrench or any type of tool. Otherwise you risk cross-threading cross it and that would be bad. So let's put it in hand tight, get it seated. Nice there, it looks good. Now we're ready to torque it. Now the torque Per spec is 40 newton meters, which is almost exactly 30 foot pounds. So you want to go ahead and get your. Uh, let's get our socket on here. You can see a little bit of a mess that I made. No big deal. All right, let's put it on our torque wrench. Yeah, we're going the right direction. And we heard a click, we're good, excellent. So that's tightened, we're done down here, except for we gotta put that cover back on. 
So let's, uh, let's do that quick. I'm gonna get things ready and we'll be back in a second. All right, we're ready to put the cover back in. Now you can see you wanna put that under the lip uh, like that first, put it up into place and then get your screws into the three locations. I do not have the torque spec on that yet. Uh, they were pretty loose, so I'm just gonna uh, use a, a quarter inch socket and put them hand tight. And uh, then I'm gonna lower the lift and we're gonna go on to the next step. Thanks. All right, we're slowly getting there. So I got the uh, vehicle down uh, from the lift, or I just put the lift down. And next step is you're gonna wanna be taking the oil filter out, the cover, oil filter cover, and the oil filter out. Completely unscrew it and pull her out. That simple. There it is. Notice the direction of how it goes into the uh, um, oil filter cover, and this is our O ring somewhere here. Yeah, right there. Kind of hard to see. So we're going to be replacing that O-ring and replacing the, uh, the filter. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the oil filter we just took out. Um, so let's uh, just basically it pulls out. There's a little snap there that uh, it snaps into. First thing you want to do is clean out. I, I did this already once, so uh, just clean out the uh, off the oil, the oil off of it. Make sure there's no gunk or any uh, um, little tiny rocks or anything. You just want to make sure it's nice and clean. Clean it out like I just did before. Um, and then what we want to do is snap the new uh, filter. Actually, before we want to do that, we're going to take out the old O-ring. It's probably not really necessary because O-rings last pretty long, but just be careful. I'm using a screwdriver here. Just really be really careful not to scar or um, uh, scratch the uh, surface where the O-ring rides because that's a sealing surface. So remove that carefully. Take your new O-ring, pop it on. I pre-oiled it so it's good, but you want to make sure this surface right here, internal surface is oiled, as well as the exterior of the O-ring. So let's pop it into place. And then make sure it's seated properly all over. Otherwise you're gonna have an oil leak. That's nice and properly sealed. Pop in your new oil filter and it's just gonna be an easy snap fit. And don't worry, it, um, it doesn't matter if it falls out of there because there's a stop inside the uh, oil filter assembly which prevents it from uh, dropping in or uh, just basically keeps it in place. So we're just gonna now put it in uh, into place, just hand torquing it back into position. And before I forget the, um, what I was looking or doing before, it was taking or putting that uh, panel on underneath so we could access the um, oil plug. I could not find the torque specs on that panel to get it into place. If anybody uh, can find that and uh, has it, let me know and I'll add it to this video or to the de um, description. But I could not, I spent a couple hours looking on, on my uh, dealer information. Okay, that's in the place. So if I remember right, it was 25 inch pound, or I mean uh, Newton meters. So let's get that set up. Uh, I'm just going to take a second to get the right extension, so I'll be right back. All right, so I grabbed my other torque wrench. You can actually see this is a, a new one. Got it from Amazon.com. I don't know what it was, 30 bucks or something like that. So let's take it out, use it for the first time, get it into place. Okay, there it is. This one starts at 10. 
inch or uh, foot pounds, and but we that's not a problem because we're going higher than that. So let's set it to 25. Okay, that's good. Lock it into place. Put our socket in. Hopefully we can get at that. We need an extension quick. Put our extension on. Lock it into place. There we go. Hopefully we're done soon. All right, let's get it in there. All right, there. I think we're finally getting to it. Okay, that's good. I think we heard it click. Let's get it back one more time. Let's make sure we didn't go too far. Five newton meters. There we go. There was the click. Okay, we got it right. That's that's good. So that's done. All right, let's take a little break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to torque it down. Make sure we're in the right direction here. And let's be careful we don't over torque it. Wait for the click. Not yet. There we go. Okay, that's properly torqued. Let's go on to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, it's time to start putting oil in. We've got the uh, drain plug in, we've got the oil filter in. We should be good to go. Let's put our uh, funnel in. And I'm gonna start by putting, now again, the, um, Capacity is 5.5 liters, uh, which is, I believe, 5.8 quarts. So you want to make sure you're not just putting 5.5 quarts in. Again, it's 5.5 liters is the capacity. So let's get this uh, oil in there. I want to be careful not to drop any of the... Uh, Part of that, whatever it is, it aluminum or obviously that would be bad. Okay, let's get that out of the way. All right, you don't want to fill it up too quickly. Otherwise, you might overflow. So take your time. All right, I'll come back when that's done. Okay, we're gonna let that drain for a few minutes. You wanna obviously 
let it settle in the crankcase before we uh, check the oil level because it takes a little while for it to uh, get on down there and uh, um, be completely filled. Uh, meanwhile, I l saw this, I believe this was on um, some messages in the past on the message board, but um, it looks like the cover is rubbing on one of these hoses here, so we'll have to address that maybe in another video. That's not good. And that's already to the uh, rubber portion of the cable. This looks like some type of heat shield. So we need to uh, address that. We want to get to some high temperature material over that and uh, make sure it doesn't get any worse. Okay, so that should be sufficiently dripped enough or got down enough, so let's take our, so again, I only put in five quarts right now. But let's see where we're at. You don't want to put, overfill it. So let's clean it off first, see where we're at. I'm not, I don't really like this dipstick. It's kind of hard to tell. So again, here's the, uh, there's a minimum or maximum up here and a minimum over here. So let's uh, take a look and see where we're at. You wanna push it all the way down, pull it out. And that looks like we're at the minimum. It's hard to tell though. Yeah, it's still dry. It's maybe at that, that circle where you can see the uh, steel wire. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, it's a little bit above that. So I'm going to do a little bit, put a little bit more oil in and check it again. So we'll be back right away okay we put some more oil in let's check it out again let it settle for a few minutes okay, let's wipe it off with a relatively clean rag it all the way in, pull it out and see where we're at. Looks like we're about to the middle. Now let's try one more time. It's, it, these things are hard to tell. I need a better gauge. see some dry spots so it's a little bit above the hole again so basically you continue that process until you get it where it should be so we're gonna do some more oil and then come right back all right we got some more oil in there let's do it again I want to get it right so I dried it off already let's check it out we're right in the middle. Let's just do it one more time just to verify. Yeah, right in the middle. We are good. Okay, put our dipstick back in place. Take our funnel out. Get our stuff out of the way. Um, let's put our cover back on. Again, we need to address this issue, but uh, that may be another video. 
and it looks like it's rubbing right there, right here. That's where I would guess. So either putting some tape on there or maybe pulling this down so it doesn't touch it. Um, we'll have to look at some ideas. And if you got any suggestions, let me know. Okay, let's pop this guy back on here. Can line it up with the uh, filler cap. Make sure it's snug. Put our filler cap back on. Make sure that's tight, it snaps into place. Everything looks good, double check. And we get out everything out of the engine compartment. Okay, last thing to do is start up, make sure there's no issues. And then let's do that. I'll put my keys in the car. Let's grab the camera quick. Okay, like I said, we just need to start it up now. Get this out of the way. I think my keys are in here, I hope. If not, I'll have to go get them. Yeah, they're right there. Okay, break. Start her up. All right, everything looks good. We're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I spent uh, more than half a day doing this, so hopefully it's helpful. Take care, and uh, next couple of videos are going to be the uh, issue we just talked about and uh, rear differential fluid change. So, see you soon. Bye. There's probably one last step I should mention. Um, again, you want to run the car for a little while and uh, make sure it warms up. And... Then check underneath for leaks. So I would put maybe um, you may uh, put a, a piece of cardboard or something underneath your car, see if you get any leaks. If you do, um, you may have to try another gasket or uh, do some investigation where the leak is coming from. Um, but assuming you did everything correctly, you will not have any leaks and uh, you're good to go. Take care. So one very last thing, and you can look at my Camaros and electric bike while I talk about it. Um, the last thing is, is that the oil uh, filter cap that uh, I installed using a 1 and 1 16th inch socket, if you convert that over to metric, it's almost exactly 27 millimeters. So if you happen to have a 27 millimeter socket, that would be the right size or uh, 1, point, uh, 06, uh, 1 and 1 16th or 1, 1 1.0625 would be the equivalent and would work just perfectly. That's it. Take care.